Good day guys, being here uh, previously we did this uh, adaptive family so um, today we're going to make it a curved okay so let's start so first um, so um, I'm going to start uh, start from from this one. Okay, so uh, you should be able to find this one. So download this family, and we can start from here. So um, okay, let me just delete delete everything here. So first, I want to create a. So it will be uh, also um, adaptive family. So let's just place two adaptive point. Just set the word plan to uh, reference level. Okay, so one, two, and make them adaptive. So now let's create a spline through them and then make it reference line. So what I'm going to do here is I want to control the uh, this this arc, this curve, this arc. So we're going to use um, arc and also, so this is a, a screenshot I just did before, so maybe I'll just do a new one. So this will be an arc start from point one to point two. To define this arc, we need a center point, so roughly here. So this will be an arc. Okay, so this is center point. And then the, this point will always be in this. Okay, so which means this will be the center the midpoint of this reference line. So once we have this point offset to here and we can get this point. So okay, so if I draw if I connect this, connect this and connect this. So this is a right angle uh tri tri uh, sorry right uh right angle tri triangle. So this one will be the r uh, the radius of this arc and um, this one will be the distance between point one and two, half of this, so half of the distance between point one and two, and this one, so let's call it an offset from uh, from this midpoint to here, so this will be the offset. So in this triangular shape, so we know that oh, this offset equals square root of uh, r square minus d divided by 2 square so uh, from this we can uh, so this is the formula for the offset and so now let's go back to rivet so we need to place one point on draw on face and place it on this midpoint okay so now we can create another point so this time draw a word plan set word plan so pick the vertical so not this one tab tab so this one and place uh, a point on this point click OK and then select this point so um, let's drag it this way so you will see this offset so this is this one so we just need to create an uh, parameter let's call it offset offset and instance and OK and OK so okay so now we need we also need an uh, need a reporting parameter so from the distance between point one and two so first set work plan pick the put pick one of the work plan of this reference line di dimension make sure you pick this point and pick this point and and okay so this will be the d so let's create a parameter let's call it a d instance reporting parameter okay so now what we need to do is we need to create a um, create a reference and it will be a center and arc draw on word plan set word plan pick the horizontal word plan of this point so tab so this one and then start so now first pick, uh, p uh, place the send point okay so send point and then start uh, start from this uh, this point and here so now you have this option so let's try to 
uh, constrain this arc onto this reference line. So, so see this one, and also there's another one. So, um, you know, both, uh, both ends. Okay, so tab, you can use tab to and click lock. Okay, so now it's all good, and then click on this one to create this radius parameter. So, this one, so we're going to create a parameter for this radius r instance and OK. So now we have have this um, uh, this reference oh sorry this reference line this arc so this will be the and we can create a face so let's just create a form oh, let's go to the other side um, that should be fine so let's select this one and maybe I'll just change this one to zero and oh, let's just change this one to to match the H and this one I'll just ch uh, change it to zero so now uh, that's it so this is the face and then we can default the surface change this pattern to the one the, pre the previous we used family 5 and also we need to change this so fixed distance 86 for the uh, height of the brick and also this one changes this to fixed distance as well and change it to 175 and also this the justification we need to change this to beginning so the brick will start from the first one and this this is it so you will see it's a arc and also uh, if you change the so let me just change the arc okay so, oh sorry change the radius so if you change the radius to, for example, I'll change it to uh, 1.5 meter, and uh, you should be able to see. Oh, what's hap what's happening here? Um, something's not right. Okay, so looks like I forgot to. So this one, see, uh, I forgot to put, type in the formula. So go to offset. Here we just need to type in this. Okay, so here um, it will be square root sqrt bracket, and uh, it will be r square minus bracket d divided by two bracket square and bracket. So this will be the formula. So if I click OK. So you will see it will come back to so start from point one to two. Okay, so when you change the radius, it only change the the radius. It won't change the um, start the the length. So let's try again. So if I change this to nine hundred, you will see it will become more curved. Change it to two meter, it will be more flat. Okay, and also you use the adaptive point to control the, the length of this brick uh, uh, brick wall okay so let's try this again so radius if I change to 1200 it will more curved it will become more curved 900 yeah no good and then we can just same um, we can add more bricks so what we need to do is we just um, we can turn off this component so turn on the surface click on this turn on the nodes uh, uh, hide the intersect lines okay and maybe just let me just show the component for one second so now I know I need one here okay so turn off so we need one here so go create component so this is the adaptive adaptive family we we did before so it's just one two three and four and then five so last point just place it on the on this adaptive point okay so we have one here so let's continue one two three four five we need another two so one two three four five and then another one will be here so one two three four five so now we can select one two three four oops sorry one two three four click on this repeat 
and that's it. So now we can select this divided surface and turn on the component. Of course, you can turn off the surface. So this is it. So also you will see is this the depth of these bricks depending on uh, what um, depends on the the level the height of the bricks okay so now let's have a test so if I create a new project and and load this into the project and now just roughly so zoom in and one here and roughly place another point here okay just need to wait for a few seconds and let's let's click uh, let's um, escape to cancel this command because we are i think we we have already done one um cancel that because that's a two point adaptive point so just click to twice and that's it so what's happening here um, let's uh, what's going on here something's not right Okay, yeah, it's done. Yeah, I'm not sure why it takes so long. Let's go to 3D view, and then this is it. So two points. So you just click when when you cre try to create this family. You just need to click one, two. So see this one, two. You can still tab tab select this point. You can still adjust. You can move this point. Move a uh, adapter point. Okay, so yeah, it's a bit slow. Come on, come on. Yeah, all good. So now you will see, so this is a, a curved brick wall okay so let me just try to uh, adjust you can adjust so so see here so can you, you can adjust the height let me just change it to lower so it, it works faster I'll use the 86 or times 12 okay so I'll so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so it should be this high. Yeah. Okay. So now, if you you can still change the uh, the radius. So currently, the radius is now 100 millimeter. So if I change this to 1.5 meter, you will see it become a uh, flatter. Yeah. My computers very slow but yeah anyway so well, it works okay so so yeah that's that's it um, how to make it a curved instead of uh, a flat one so um, that's that's it for today um, I, I will save this family for you so you can have a look okay so thank you I'll see you tomorrow Thank you. Bye.